Wow, what a good show we got tonight. Jules and Carlos of Fratelli's of Providence, the beautiful Mrs. Rhode Island and Mrs. Massachusetts USA 2014, and the voice of Ariana Pacheco on An Hour with Bob, and it starts right now. <laughs> Good evening, folks, and welcome to another edition of An Hour with Bob. I don't know if you saw it, but Channel 6 did a nice uh, report, uh, a story, on uh, Toys for Tots. This being our 20th annual Toys for Tots celebration coming up this December 10th at the Warwick Mall. And as you know, if you watch this show over the years and watch what my whole thing is about, uh, the reason I do this show in the first place was to get some notoriety so I could get notoriety for the Toys for Tots. And to me, it's like uh, my Rhode Island version of the Jerry Lewis thing. Uh, you know, you got to get popular so you can get people to follow you and people to help you and people to do things and people to collect and people to contribute. And uh, I guess I succeeded that somewhat with the Toys for Tots over the last 19 years. This is our 20th year, as I said, at the Warwick Mall Food Court. It had started out as a telethon, and as years passed and progressed, it it got so big that it was it started in the studio here in Pawtucket, but it got so big we had to move it out, we, and we got lucky. We got it at the Warwick Mall, the food court. The Warwick Mall people have been phenomenal with me over the years, and uh, we do it right in the food court at the Warwick Mall on December 10th. It's 5 to 9 p.m., and a lot of businesses participate. They help. They <laughs> collect toys over the, the weeks. In fact, uh, I did a piece. Can I have one of those plaques? I did a... a piece with Channel 6 yesterday, we showed, they showed me with these plaques, distributing some of these plaques to different businesses, and this is WEEI, -E they, they helped with um, uh, airtime for me over, over the years, and as has uh, uh, Pro-Am, Pro-FM, SNE, uh, uh, Light 105, uh, over the years, all different ones, HJJ, HJY have, have helped me out, and this year, I'm hoping it, because it's the 20th, I was looking to have the biggest event of all, all. They, the Marines tell me that our Toys for Tots event is their single biggest one-night event anywhere, which, you know, I have trouble believing, but they continue to tell me that, and it's certainly the biggest one around here that I know of. And this year, to my disappointment, because of this problem with the government and the shutdown and whatever, they have cut back, and I was notified by ev the sergeant. Every year I get a different uh, person to deal with, a point man uh, from the Toys for Tots, from the Marines. And this year he had the task of telling me that, Bob, we don't have the trucks this year, we don't have the manpower this year. I usually pass out boxes around the state to restaurants and stores. In fact, I have 10 Navigant Credit Unions, I have nine Cellos restaurants, three mozzarella restaurants. I have uh, uh, Don Rodriguez Karate in Warwick who gives us a lot of toys. The West Warwick JCs has been unbelievable with us. Iggy's was probably second this past year in giving us toys. Boxes and bags and those big construction bags full of toys. They'll, they'll fill the box, empty the box into a bag, and then use the box again, fill it again in the course of a month. The city of Pawtucket was absolutely the best with us last year. Don Garibian and the, and the whole city of Pawtucket chimed in. They helped us with trucks. They helped us with uh, a location for the distribution center. And why I'm telling you this is I find out that I am not going to have the help I had last year. And it couldn't come at a worse time. 
I usually have about 60 boxes that I send out around the state. Well, I can only fit three, even, even folded, I can only fit, hit three or four in my Toyota Camry. This year they're telling me, I gotta distribute my own boxes to all these locations. And worse, I have to pick them up when they're full, and like I said, some places they'll fill it three, four, five times, so there's absolutely no way even a pickup truck wouldn't work. It takes big trucks, a lot of equipment, and the Marines have always supplied me with that equipment. Unfortunately, this year, because of all the stuff in, going on in, the, in Washington and stuff, I call it, because you don't want to hear what I really want to say it is, in, in Washington, the games they're playing, the back and forth, uh, who's trying to make who look bad, as a result of that, the kids are getting hurt. And what I'm looking for is help getting the boxes distributed, getting the boxes and toys picked up on the day of the 10th or the 9th. And what we usually do, we pick them up on the 10th and we bring them down to the Warwick Mall. So we start off the night with toys on the stage, around the stage, it all looks good. And then in the course of the night, places like Cello's brings their own boxes of toys. Mozzarella's bring their own toys, bags and boxes, tons of them. And, and I, I must add too, by the way, there are, sev there are three, sadly, there are three or four Marines that were killed in the line of duty whose parents have benefits in the course of the year for their kids and they give the money and the toys they collect to me on stage at the Warwick Mall. Excuse me, in fact, uh, Brian St. Germain's mother, since he died in 2006 in Iraq, uh, she, she's come on the stage, she's run raffles, she's run car washes, she's run all kinds of functions to collect money and toy runs with the uh, motorcycle groups. And last year she gave me, had to be eight or 10 big construction bags full of toys, a, a bunch of boxes full of toys. She had so many people come up on stage and she hands me an envelope with a check in it for 2,800 and some odd dollars for Toys for Tots. Now, I tell everybody, I don't want to check in Bob Venturini's name. The check goes in Toys for Tots' name. I don't want anybody ever say Bob Venturini took anything. 100% of the proceeds from Toys for Tots goes to the Marines, goes to Toys, and stays in Rhode Island. So again, I, I'm pleading with you folks out here, if you can help out, or if you want a box, if you want to start a collection at your work, the gym, at the, your local, diner you go to, or the hairstylist, whatever, you want a box, get a hold of me at 401-724-5113. Actually, you know what I just did? I gave you my old, my old home phone number. Uh, my, my phone, my cell phone number, by the way, that number's no good, it's dead. If you call it, you gotta get somebody mad at you. <laughs> my, my number is, uh, cell phone number, 529-9950. 529-9950 is my cell phone number. You call me, and I really need trucks for the night of the Toys for Tots. We fill the biggest truck the Marines have. It's a, it's a troop carrier. We filled that two times and almost filled it the third time. They tell me each load was the equivalent of seven or eight pickup trucks. Yeah, it was more than that. No, I, it was seven or eight or nine. I don't know what it was. It was something like 27, they said 27, 28 pickup trucks worth of toys. It was crazy, the amount of toys we collected. Uh, I'm, I'm so proud of what we do that night. Now, I'm there from noon to, we finish about 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night, and now they're telling me I have to find a way of getting those toys into my, some vehicle, because they won't have the marine vehicles, and transport them back to Pawtucket, neither of which, um, in a position to do, either physically or financially. So any help anybody can provide would be greatly appreciated. So let's get back to the show. Again, Toys for Tots, you want to be part of it, December 10th at the Warwick Mall. In fact, December 7th, before I forget, in East Greenwich, they're holding a dance at the, uh, at the Veterans uh, Lodge there, Veterans Lodge 15. It's right on Main Street in East Greenwich. That's with the, the cannon out in front. It's from three to one, three in the afternoon to one in the morning. They're going to have uh, all kinds of bands donating their time and some big name bands, and they're collecting. They're doing a toy collection. 
uh, Lisa Pinto is running the collection. I just was notified this today. So that's December 7th. It's on a Saturday night, I believe, right? That's a Saturday night. Well, let's get back to the show. That was enough of the seriousness. Now I've got to say hi to my friends, my beautiful friends. Mrs. Massachusetts, Lynn, how you doing? Hi. Nice to see you. My God, you don't change. We love us some Bob. <laughs> ah, Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love coming. We love coming. Yes, yeah. you do great. Yeah, you do a great job. Nice. My God, and you're, you're amazing. And, and I know, and what a businessman. I should add, by the way, not only is she beautiful, she's also an attorney. That, and and, you, you know, and you, besides that, you own your own very successful optic. I do, Optics Rhode Island. Uh, it's, it, it's on uh, Route 6, yep, on Hartford, Hartford Avenue, Avenue right near the old, where the old BJ's. You yeah. know, just like a Rhode Islander, folks. BJ's right? isn't even there right. anymore. <laughs> I do that, too. I tell people, yeah, I'm across from the old BJ's. Yeah, which isn't yeah. there anymore. It's, it's buildings torn down. I, and I brought my nerd glasses, but, you but I, want, I want you to talk to my BFF here. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Pal what is it? Susanna Pagliata. Susanna Pagliata. We're loaded with Italians here tonight. Pagliata. Diamante. Pagliata. We got Diamante and Pagliata and Venturini on, on, on the stage here. And then we got Portuguese? Portuguese, huh? Pot Portuguese. Pachico. That's okay. My, my kids are half Portuguese. My ex-wife was Portuguese. Wow. So that's not all bad. I'm Portuguese all people are very good it's people. Good very stuff. good work. They're great people. We're all spicy. Yeah. Well, spi <laughs> oh, spicy. Yeah, there you go. Spicy me the ball. Well, <laughs> ladies, you yeah. just won Mrs. Massachusetts, yeah. USA. Yeah. yeah. And Mrs. Rhode Island, USA, yeah. 2014, which yes. is brand yeah. new. We're brand when new. When did this happen? We're right out of the box. That's right. That's right. <laughs> A few weeks ago, and we're proud to say we're going to be going to Vegas. You can tune in on national TV and when see is us. It? When is it? When is it? When? When? It's in July, in July. and you'll see us compete yeah. uh, for the big title. You should come. We should, I was you just should come to say Vegas that. We should and film it. We should work that out. Yeah. Here. yeah. Now, who's running that? Who runs yeah. that pageant? It's the Miss United States. Mrs. United um, States. Now, yeah. who runs it locally? Who, who does that? Oh, uh, uh, there's a, well, there's a, here locally, there's a director, Isabella Rett's out of New York, Isabella because it's all, it's a big system. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you ought to yeah. talk to them. Maybe we can work something out. Uh, Bob's Big Adventure in, uh, in Las Vegas. Vegas. Yes. Ooh, that I've crazy. done a show in Vegas. Oh, you should you, do it. You know what I did in Vegas one time? I, I defied all logic and all uh, probabilities. I said, I'm going to go to Vegas, and I am going to go to, in every casino, and see how many I can get into before I get thrown out with the for having a camera for with having a camera, camera. Uh, yeah. I hit every single not yeah. only on the strip every single casino not only on the strip but on the main drag there frontier land whatever they call oh that that, that oh, area old Vegas old Vegas, old Vegas. Yep. I hit every one of them on the side streets I hit every one of them I got stopped in two really only two wow. and that was after I got video of in the two you're wow. stealthy I've been stopped every time even if I went to take a snapshot they drop you because of the security system. I was, I started, this is, An Hour with Bob was my second show. Bob's Big Adventure was my first show. Actually, before that. I remember. That, before I that, watched exactly, that show. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It was just still on. I still do Bob's Big Adventure. And it's been slowed down with the knee and the back. And I everything. remember <laughs> a Bristol 4th of July one you did of Bob's Big Adventure. Yes. A long time. I was Miss Rhode Island USA way back when. There you go. And yes. I remember that show. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Interrupt. Well, well, we did a, um, the reason I, I mean, I started, the reason I actually started that was because to get notoriety, enough notoriety, so I could do a Toys for Tots, because I always wanted, there was in the mm -hmm. back of my mind, because of, you know, growing up, I, I mentioned on the, you're going to see the clip of how I, and why I started the Toys for Tots, mm -hmm. because yeah. of my father, yeah. who was in the Navy in World War II, and my brother, who was in the Marines, and died of complications from Agent Orange, and they're both named Victor John Venturini, uh, junior and senior. Yeah. And uh, I even went to Paris Island, and I planned on going to Paris Island with my brother, but he ended up dying. Oh. Uh, he got real sick. I went without him, and he died about a month or two after I got back. Oh, and the United States Marines, yep. his wife called me crying. She couldn't get even a bugler. Nobody was available. They were going to give her a National Guard bugler, and they do a f they have this thing that they put on the bugle, so they really don't sing. I mean, yeah, I'm playing the bugle. Yeah, they just yeah, put this yeah, thing on it. It's right a CD. And I had none of that. So I called. Oh. I had interviewed the Commandant, second oh. in command of the entire United States Marines when wow. I was in Paris Island. Yep. I, and yeah. 
we got friendly. I had dinner with him one night, me and my cameraman, him and his wife, and I called him, and I didn't get a hold of him, but I got his aide, and I told his aide, you know, my brother was a Marine, and uh, the reason I even came down there, or went down there, was because of my brother. Yeah. Well, the next morning for the funeral, what's the funeral? I always mess that up. What's the, the what's after? What's the last one? The wake and the funeral. The wake, the funeral. The funeral. And the funeral. When they yeah. have the they have a little mass at the yeah. chapel yeah. and the, and, yeah. and the funeral home, and then yes. they go yeah. to yeah. the Exeter Cemetery yeah. because yeah. he was a Marine, right? Well, I w walk. Oh, I'm distraught because he's my favorite brother too. Oh, I, had, gosh, I had four yeah, brothers and yeah. three sisters, it's but terrible. he was my favorite. He was right. my older brother. Yeah. And I, I walk, park my car, I walk across the street, and I don't even pay attention. I walk by this van. I didn't see it. As soon as I got around the van, I hear, attention! 24 Marines were lined oh up in their dress blues. Oh. And one of the guys oh, come so over to me, he was a captain, he says, we will take it from here. Oh, they handled so the awesome. pole bearing. They wow. handled everything. That's and so he special. got a real 21-gun right. salute. And he got a real bugler. Right. And the folding of the flag and all that oh. stuff. But uh, that's why I'm so big on the United States oh, Marines. That's of course. I mean, they're just such a such a class they act. act. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, that's yeah. a wonderful story. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, is. it is. Anyway, uh, I want to talk to you more, but I have to introduce my other guest here. Oh yes. Yeah. I, I know she's Portuguese. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. beautiful. She's and I. Wait a minute now. We go back a ways, I think. Right, yes. Ariana. Yes. Pachico, eight, nine years ago, maybe? Ten, was it that long? It was about David, eight. David, we got David Payton here too. And David brought you in here from Kaleidoscope Theater at the time, right? Yes. Uh, yes, it was about eight years ago for the bully program. That's right. That's right. Now, you, it was you and a few others, right? Yes, it was a few of other members of the bully program with Kaleidoscope Theater. Wow. And now you're. A, all grown up, senior in high school, eighth in her class, I might add. Wow. Awesome. All right? And doing all right. And uh, dad's here, mom's here. Oh, your sister. That's your sister, right? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> my mom. Oh, that's your mom? Oh, all right. I can't say that yet. Your dad's here. We've got beautiful <laughs> jeans in the family. Yes, beautiful. yes. Now, what are you singing for us? Uh, I'll be singing Shy from Once Upon a Mattress and... Um, what I did for love from uh, Chorus Line. Wow. Now that's tough to sing by yourself. It's, I mean, it's a little different from when you're singing with a group, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a lot, because now the spotlight's on you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you ready? Are we ready? We're ready. We're ready. Ariana Pacheco. Someone's being bashful. That's no way to be, not with me, can't you see? That I am just as embarrassed as you, and I can understand your point of view. I've always been shy, I confess that I'm shy. Can't you guess that this confident air is a that I wear cause I'm shy and you may be sure way down deep I'm demure though some people I know might deny it at bottom I'm quiet and pure I'm aware that it's wrong to be meek as I am my chances may pass me by I pretend to be strong but as weak as I am all I can do is try, God knows I try, though I'm frightened and shy. And the impression I give, I confess that I'm living a lie. Because I'm actually terribly timid and horribly shy. Kiss today goodbye. The sweetness and the sorrow. Wish me luck the same to you. But I can't regret what I did for love. 
what I did for love. Look, my eyes are dry. The gift was ours to borrow. Wish me luck the same to today goodbye and point me toward tomorrow we did what we had to And that's really tough to sing with a track instead of with an orchestra back yes. here. And I got to, I'm thinking as a dad now, your dad's here and your mom's here. <laughs> and you're singing about love. And I'm saying, <laughs> if I, that was my kid, I'd be saying, what is she doing? Has she got a boyfriend? Is she <laughs> what is she doing? Well, love can come in many forms. Oh, yes. Like your dog. You love your dog. You love your, <laughs> yes. you love your parents, of course. Yes. Especially dad, I mean, just saved the day over here with the technical <laughs> difficulty here we just had. Hopefully that won't show anyway, right, John? Uh, yes. All right. <laughs> now, you you were on you started on Kaleidoscope, Kaleidoscope Theater when? How old? Uh, well, my parents actually met through the company, so oh, no, I've really? been there a part of my entire life. Oh, isn't that neat? Yes. I didn't know that. So well, David's a little matchmaker over there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, how did you manage to juggle all the activities of the theater and everything and still come out eighth in your class? It was a lot of time management. Um, I had to prioritize what was important at the time, what needed to be done short term, and what needed to be done long term, and prioritizing what um, was short term. So it was no. a lot of making tough decisions. Maybe I had to give up one thing um, just so I could study. Like so I boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you could study. Now, how Another difficult one. was it? Get this one. Her mother is a math teacher at the same oh school. Oh, my God. First of all, how are you in math? I'm actually very proficient in math. Um, I, right now, am taking uh, calculus AP. Yeah, I, I took calculus, yes. Uh, very difficult. I took every math course in school. When I, was, I love math. Um, throughout Logic. my four years in uh, high school, I've maintained an A in math. Oh, good for you. So Good for you. I did get 189 in a math course. <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> I, really, I was so mad. If I didn't have a, an A, I was really, really mad. All the, if I wasn't in the top three in the class, I want to kill somebody. <laughs> so how is it that mom's a math teacher? How does that affect you? Um, I love it. Uh, my mom and I, we have a very good relationship. I noticed that. Um, you know, it's great to have a support system there for w taking difficult classes. Right. Um, you know, I, I have a support system for when things get stressful. Uh, you go to mom. Yeah. <laughs> you go to mom. <laughs> <laughs> to have someone to lean on. Uh, it also teaches, like, different life lessons to learn how to also not depend on someone, even though they're there. So right, it's taught right, me that. Right. to learn independency even when I have a crutch, so. 
Now, did, did some of your friends say, hey, can you help me out? I need an A. Uh, can you help <laughs> talk, talk to your mom? Talk to mom? Can you get mom to give me a, a boost up my grade <laughs> a little bit, huh? No. That never happened? No, they've never uh, turned to me to ask that. Um, you know, my, my mom's a great teacher, so it doesn't affect me in school because the majority of the students like her. So. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. That's nice. Well, I used to I used to say I worked in the school in the summer, the youth corps, and I grabbed a whole bunch of the, uh, back in the day, my day, they had report cards. And they used to have to, you know, the teachers used to have to write on the report cards. So all the rich kids, because I went to, when I went to what, to what is now Shea High, used to be Pawtucket West, there was a lot of rich kids in that school. And I used to sell them report cards. <laughs> hey, oh, Dave. <laughs> Well, you got to be creative, you know. When I grew up without, as I pointed out, I grew up without a dad, and we didn't have a lot, so uh, we had no welfare, none of that stuff. We just hustled. I, I was a hustler since. An I, oh, I was a hustler from when I was a kid. Right there. I had, I used, I used to, I used to sell passes to get out of class, passes <laughs> to go to the library, passes yeah. to get out of gym. Oh yeah. I even got to use somebody's brand new Corvette one time because uh, for a date one Saturday night because he wanted an A in one of his classes. He oh had a C. Because I also had the stamps for 13 oh of the God. teachers. Oh my God. <laughs> Those were the days, my friend. You were it's got to be. Well, that's got to be. That's right. That was, I had my office on room 333, which was a double room. It was a study hall, and it was two rooms. And the kids used to come in, and it used to line up. I'm not kidding. They used to line That's up, and they come over. Well, Bob, can you help me out? I got this. I got this C. If I go home with this, my father is going to ground me, or I got this D or whatever. And I said, Well, what is? What's it worth to you? Oh, my and, God. and I used to make deals for them. I used to make deals. I think Ariana is wise beyond her years. Yeah, yeah. So, so what were your challenges in school? Um, challenges was I am a very um, I I become a part of many different groups uh, that range all over the school. I am on academic decathlon. I'm also a cheerleader. Oh, wow. Um, well, I'm that's kind of a contradiction, huh? <laughs> yes. Uh, it's fun during the uh, super quiz for decathlon, turning to the students next to me and telling them I'm a cheerleader. It yeah. really throws them yeah. off track. Well, it's like this one right here. She's, <laughs> she's gorgeous, but she's also an attorney well, and, he's, and he's an op entrepreneur, just like time. this one. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. these two women are very successful businesswomen. Yeah. And yes. Ariana and I share a common goal, which is anti-bullying. I'd love to, for you to share what you told me. Well, I am a part of Kaleidoscope Theater's anti-bullying program called Bully, which is better under better understanding by listening and learning about you. Uh, it's we have there's three different levels of it for elementary school, middle school, high school, and it's it's just a great way to show kids like we show examples of bullying situations and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And then we give exercises and different strategies to rid the school of bullying for both teachers and students. Right, it's, right. it's a great program, and I've been a part of it since it was uh, first conceived. So that's awesome. That's amazing. Yay. That is, that <laughs> that's is amazing. amazing. That's really good. Now, what are you going to do after graduation? What's um, your plan? Well, my dream had always been to be on Broadway. Uh, oh, that's, cool. That's a huge well, there's a Broadway up here, you know, but <laughs> And I've so been on Broadway. <laughs> I was there today, actually. <laughs> My buddy owns it. That does these, that does these things. Joe, Joe Filippi did. Yeah. Does these, right? He's right on Broadway. Oh, you know him? Yeah, of course. Listen, yeah. we're Italian. We know everything that well, goes on. Right. And, and he's Portuguese. Yeah. Joe Filippi, <laughs> Rainbow <laughs> Creations. He, he, he makes all my uh, Those are beautiful. plaques, and he does them for cost. Okay. So, you know, it treats me well. But yeah. anyway, that's uh, on Broadway. It's been a goal of mine to perform on Broadway. And I understand that, like, it's very difficult financially to maintain that. Sure. And so I plan to hopefully get a degree in speech pathology, right. uh, which will grant me the flexibility, uh, both in scheduling and in um, financially, to be able to strive for my goal. 
And then you can also teach all those uh, New Yorkers how to speak, <laughs> right? Yes, because you speak very well. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Thank you. All you right, a couple more amazing. quick ones, and then I got to go back to my young she's ladies. Amazing. This is, she is you're amazing. amazing. She's sharp. Thank you, Thank you so much. Follow all your dreams, and you'll, you'll achieve all 17 of years old. 17, yes. Wise beyond your years. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Who, who are some of your role models? Uh, I have many different role models um you know my parents obviously I, i'm thankfully i'm glad you said that yeah. right off the bat because <laughs> i would have been mad at you if i didn't hear you say that right off the bat uh the biggest reason is they both came here from different countries yeah uh and they managed to become successful uh, and make a life for themselves here uh obviously david and bob with everything they do with kaleidoscope theater the anti-bullying program uh just everything they've done throughout the years um, a director that I've worked with, uh, Jason LeClaire, he's a um, genius of a man. His wife actually had a type of kidney cancer, and he gave up a kidney for her mm -hmm. and is taking care of her through the years. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we have something closer to that. I have a very good friend of mine whose brother is sitting over there, whose son gave him a, a kidney. Wow. That's Imagine wonderful. that. Yeah, that's that's nice. The yeah. gift of life. David's brother. Um, David's brother's... No, I was going to say David's brother's nephew, uh, David's brother's son, uh, his nephew gave his brother Don a kidney. Oh, wow. The oh. guy was going, that guy's phenomenal. I mean, he would drive all over from what, Pennsylvania up into Canada, and every other day he'd go have to stop and spend three and a half hours uh, doing, um, you know, having his blood dialysis. Drain, dialysis. dialysis. Wow. And he set it up in places, right? In yeah. Canada, wow. in Vermont, in Pennsylvania. I mean, they, he's the most amazing guy. There's a role model. Um, my two biggest role models would be um, a woman that I've worked with for a couple of years at Kaleidoscope Theater, Jillian Rivers, because she's the one who introduced me to speech pathology. Right. And she has been almost mentoring me throughout the past two years on how to achieve it what I should be doing in high school to prepare myself um, and get ready for it. And Mar another woman that I've worked with, with in Kaleidoscope Theater, Marianne Douglas, uh, she focuses a lot on being a positive person, which to me is very important. Um, positivity can just help brighten any day, and she helps me focus on that greatly. Oh, that's cool. Oh, great job. Well, you gotta sing another song for us in a few minutes, okay? Uh, okay. I hope so. Uh, that's all I had. Um, <laughs> that's all you got? Oh, my God. You have to go see her on Broadway now. We're going to have to go. Yeah, we're going to have to pay now. Next time I see him, we're going to have to pay. <laughs> I'll give you this, or though. Or they can go to the theater. So do they have on our VIP list you, on Broadway. That's right. Do you have yeah. at Kaleidoscope Theater open nights where people can go and, and see plays? And stuff? Well, we um, have Snow White and Heidi coming up soon uh, to be at the Scottish Rites Theater in December. Oh. Uh, now where is that? Where is the Scottish Rites Theater? It's in Cranston, okay. Rhode Island. Um, David Rhodes went to Texas. Right? What is it? And yeah, we, we, we're, we will also be bringing them to New Jersey. Oh, cool. Uh, cool. We actually oh, have Oh, yeah. Heidi. All right. Who directed it? Um, huh. I co-directed it with another member wow. of the Oh, Theater. my God. Awesome. You are great. <laughs> well, thank you for stopping by with us tonight. Thank and I you appreciate for you me. could spend an hour with Bob. And I hope you're going to hang out because we're going to have some good food in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right? All right. All right. Back to you, ladies. Yeah. What do you um, think of that girl? Is yeah. she impressive? She's very amazing. She's and, and her platform is my platform. Yeah. It's so nice to just. Well, I was big on that, that anti bullying thing as a kid because not having a dad, uh, you know, the, and I yeah. come from a rough neighborhood, some right. kids would always pick on you. Right. And on top of it, because I went to a Catholic school. Right. Oh, you get a lot. I had, and I hate to bring this up again because I've said this before, and, and if I did what I did then today, I'd be in jail. I had these kids. I. I 10th grade, it used to be 10th, we, talk, you, we, we talked, talked about, about that. this. 10th, yeah. 11th, and 12th grade, so I'm going to give you the, the clip notes. <laughs> 10th, 11th, and 12th. I started the 10th grade. Here's a kid that used to wear a tie every day to school and, and uh, mm -hmm. chino pants and a, a, a white shirt. And the 10th grade, I'm in the 10th grade. Not a real big, not small, but not a big kid. This uh, football player, the biggest guy in the entire school. And come to find out he graduated at 22. 
He, went, he was in high school for five or six years. <laughs> and I'd walk by him and he'd whack me in the back of the head. And, I, and, and what are you going to do? I'm, I'm 150 pounds, he's 250. You know, what are you going to do with a guy like that? In fact, he just had a situation where a guy left the field in Miami, Miami's Dolphins. Yeah. The guy yeah. was six foot five, 320 pounds, yeah. and he left yeah. the field because, and left the, left the team, team because right? he said he was being picked on. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it size doesn't, doesn't mean anything. No. Well, well, anyway, what happened was this guy was just picking on me so much, and I said, I got to do something about this. And I was kind of big into fireworks in the time, back in the day, and I uh, oh. sold a few. And uh, <laughs> I put together this stink smoke bomb combination, and I just wanted to make, <laughs> a, make, a, make a statement huh? just to stop them. So I, and I, I also tested the wicks. I made sure all the wicks were long oh. enough because I got, you don't know this, but I got burnt when I was a kid and I spent six months in the hospital oh and I, co gosh. I couldn't walk for two years. And that's part of this whole Toys for Tots thing. Oh and because uh, I also do the, bring toys to the hospitals yeah. Uh, yeah. during the Toys for Tots season. Anyway, um, I don't like to talk about that because I get all flustered when I do. Anyway, uh, I put this thing together. I knew my limitation so to speak and I made sure the wicks were long enough <laughs> and what I did was I went walked in the first floor lav sophomores on the third floor juniors on the second floor freshmen on the uh, uh, I'm sorry sophomores on the f uh, third floor juniors on the second seniors on the first floor I walked in the first floor lav walked right in one of the one of the oh, rooms w the petitions there the <laughs> stalls yep. And then I set this thing up. It was a ball the size of a baseball. It had a long wick, but I knew the wick was going to be, give them a minute. So I opened the door and I said, anybody got a light? And I just held up the, the wick. They didn't even see the thing. And the guy whips out with his Zippo, think he's lighting a cigarette for me. I light the wick. I walk right over to the biggest, toughest, meanest guy in the school, senior. <laughs> he, was like, he was already 19 at the time. I walk right over. I said, I'm sick of your shit. You want to mess with me again? And that was it. I give him the thing and I just slowly walked right out. Well, they were they were fighting to get out. He's passing it on. They look like the Three Stooges. Him and his cronies are passing the thing back and forth. And now they start running out the door. They're fighting to get out the door at the same time. And I took my time, because I knew I had time. I walked up to my class, was on the third floor, 373. I walk up to my class, sit down in front of the woman that thought everybody was first graders. She, she, right in front of her, I end up sitting right in front of her in the front row, because I had already been in trouble. and. All of a sudden, the thing blows off. Her name was Miss Kelly, right? Yep. She was an old maid teacher, right? Thing blows up. I could hear it from the third floor. <laughs> all of a sudden, I hear the, all the sirens going off, and the you know they, the school got evacuated, right? Didn't it get flooded? Come to find out, <laughs> the cafeteria is in the basement. Oh my God. The thing I made the mistake of when you when you duct tape something and you keep continually duct tape it, the more pressure you put oh against no. explosives, the more it wants to blow. The tighter you make it, yeah. the more it wants to blow. <laughs> so by making it so tight, it blew up. Uh, we found out much later that that was in October. That lab never opened up the entire school year. That lab was closed the whole school year. The school was closed that day, of course. It was on a Wednesday. They closed it Thursday, and they closed it Friday because of sanitation reasons. Because it, <laughs> it blew the petitions off the wall and blew a couple toilets off the wall. <laughs> flooded, oh flooded the basement. <laughs> They had like three feet of water in the basement where the cafeteria was, right? So we get back to school on Monday, and I know I'm going to have a problem. And we're in the, they have, have a, um, in the auditorium, they have all the classes, all grades there. And the pr principal and the vice principal up there, and they're going, whoever did this is capable of murder and all this stuff. <laughs> well, somebody ended up telling on me. I got, I got expelled. Aww. The only thing that saved me was the principal was a nice guy. The vice principal was not, as usually the case. Superintendent of schools, his name was Charles E. Shea, who now the school is named after. Oh, yeah. oh, Charles yeah. Shea, oh, yeah. I went nine grades of Catholic school with his son. Oh, my God. And he had also been picked on. You know, you're a good guy. So he talked to his father. Yeah. And um, because also I was an A student, yeah. that was the big help. After two weeks, they thought I had had enough. So they said, if sent the word to my mother or somebody, one of my friends to my mother, that if I told them who lit the thing, because I thought I had a cohort, right? If I lit the yeah. thing, <laughs> that I would get back in school, right? So I, I went back to, on the third week, and I walked in, and everybody's coming out of school, it was after school, and they go, hey, Bob, what are you doing here? I said, I'll be back in school tomorrow. Right. And I walked into the office, I said to the vice principal, Mr. Do Mr. McDowell, 
I said, I heard you, you said if I tell you who lit it, I can get back to school, right? Yeah. Mr. Moriarty, yeah. No problems, it's, uh, no repercussions, right? right? I got your word. If I tell you who lit this thing, right. I'm coming back to school, right? No repercussions. Who do you think, what do you think I, my answer was? Huh? No, me. Uh, uh, you told ratted yourself it. out. You ratted yourself out. I told him I lit it. Oh, that's funny. So I didn't want to get anybody else in trouble, yeah. oh, even good. the bully. That's good. That bully was my best friend after that. Uh, he same. feared me like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> I love yep. it. That was it. I love it. Wow. All right, so so you girls, you got the, the yoga thing, right? Yep, we have. We, we have. started our anti-gravity yoga, hang upside down. You hang upside down. <laughs> when you get to our age, you have to do creative things to stay you gotta in shape. Get creative. I got to hang upside down because I want to stretch out. I'm serious. I want to stretch out my it's spine. Crappy yoga. Crappy yoga. Because I... Cause it's amazing. I wanted, always wanted to try that uh, thing where they, you know, you hooked up to yeah. your legs or yeah. whatever. And That's it's, what we do. Oh, I gotta try that. I'm it serious. I gotta try it. It actually lengthens you uh, an carbs. inch to an inch and a half. It really? When you leave you. the yep. class at the end of an what hour and a half. What does it lengthen? Your whole body. Your whole spine. You'll be oh. taller. You're taller. That's what I gotta yeah. do. Yeah. I'm serious. I gotta try that. You I, should, I've yeah. always yeah. wanted to try it, but I didn't want to spend a thousand dollars to buy one of those. No, at the yoga, at the uh, right over here in thing. Cranston, we'll you take can, you. Yeah, you can come with I, us. I'm serious. I want to go. We should do, I definitely uh, want to go. Do, uh, on, the <laughs> on the road with Bob. We'll do a segment on it. We'll do a you segment on it. We'll do a segment on it. There, yeah. It. It's so fun. I mean, we were like. Now, it doesn't. You don't get a headache when you no. do that upside down. No, it depends on how long you stay. You have to build up to it. You can't just go upside down and stay upside down for like an hour. You know, you gotta you gotta build up to it, and you can flip back and take a break if you need to. I always like yoga anyway because there's many more women than guys in yoga. Yeah. Most oh, women that do yoga are pretty attractive. They're all flexible. <laughs> They're all flexible. I love flexible women in yoga. <laughs> yeah, we, we had a ball, and we actually just started um, bodybuilding for Bikini Diva contest. Yeah. Well, don't build up no. the body too much. Little, I hate the women. I don't hate them. I mean, I, I, I think some women go overboard with the bodybuilding. Right, right. Yeah. And I, I don't think I'd want well, to wake up to a woman and put my arms <laughs> around a woman. And make and sure it's a man or a woman. Feel, 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 <laughs> what the heck have I got here, you know? <laughs> no, no, that no, would scare there's me. There's a difference between fitness, fitness right. and bikini. Nice. Right. So we're training for a bikini. All right, well, so, next time you got to come on the Mrs. show United with States a bikini. With a bikini. <laughs> we, <laughs> well, you have to we watch us it. on TV. You're going to cheer for us. If you yeah. can't come, you have to yeah. be cheering. When we get to Mrs. United States in July and we're in that huge Vegas stage show on the Strip, we're going to be so fat and, like, so you guys really? are going to be so proud of it. Oh, you didn't bring, wait, you, you brought bikinis, didn't you? Uh, uh, well, you know, it's only 30 degrees yeah, out. I mean, of course out. I have it. Cool. Well, yeah. well, we're inside. We have fur bikinis. Well, you know what? Well, what do you got there? What is that? This is Susanna's jewelry. That's yours. We get, we've been manufacturing that. jewelry here for years mm -hmm. in, in, in Rhode what Island. Under what name? Well, we have H&M Industries, we have Super, a Superb, and then we have Glitzy Girl. Wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, right. But we make a lot of jewelry for celebrities, and then we also make a lot of jewelry for um, kids, children, and then wow. for, for many big That's names. all your stuff, huh? All of it, okay. yep. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. Do you get a shot of that? Brian? That's nice. How about the ring? That, <laughs> that's not Can you right? have that ring? Yeah. Can you see any more guys? Well, listen, I got to go over and talk to the guys. You want to yeah. hang out here for a while? Yeah, yeah absolutely. If you want, you can change uh, We want to taste we whatever, whatever's happening over there. We want to come sample. So. Look, look, at, look at that. Now, that's a chip. Did you ever see a chip like that? That's an important chip. Oh, that's a Toys cute. for Tots chip. That's a real chip. Oh, We're going to so be cute. there. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll help. We'll help. Whatever you need. I hope so. Yeah. I know you will. You've, you've been there do. many times. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we always do. We'll All right. There. I'll be right back. Okay. Let us know if you need some help in that kitchen over there. We've, oh, yeah. We've got some kitchen skills. I'm tasting. I got, Carl, I got Carlo. I got Carlo, my boy Carlo. We go back, way back, oh, yeah. many, many years. How you doing, kid? Good. How are you Wait a minute. we got to fix that. You're, you're falling you're, apart. Well, you're pulling it down. It would have blocked your voice. And who's this guy? Who's this guy? Jules. Great to see you. Jules oh. Ramos, huh? Yes, sir. What kind of name is that? Ramos. Uh, it's Portuguese. You know, oh, I thought so. I thought so. Again, another Portuguese and Italian. <laughs> so my kids are Portuguese and Italian. All right, let's All fire right. it up. Let's start off. Tell me up. what we're doing. Uh, First of all, the name of the restaurant is? Fratelli's. Fratelli's. Now, that, there's a reason. What's that name mean? It means something. I know it does. Yeah. Knowing uh, you and your a, brother, it's I know it's- for brothers. Thank you very much. Yeah. My brother uh, opened it with me. And, yeah. and get that. I didn't know that for sure. I You'd, guess. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Knowing his brother, him and me and his brother. Yeah. 
We went to Russia together. Wow. We went to Kazakhstan wow. together. Wow. Oh my God. We went to Morocco together. Morocco. Uh, Morocco. Bob's big adventures. Yeah. Some, in some of the best Bob's big adventures all over the world. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yep. And we had a heck of a time. We had a lot of in fun. In Morocco, you must have had some fun. Well, yeah. <laughs> Morocco's a pretty dangerous place. I got the butt kicked out of me in Morocco. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Nobody told me it was during Ramadan, and I'm videotaping during Ramadan. <laughs> That's a bad, that's I, bad I get news. I get off the train. I, I wanted to go. We were in Rabat, the capital, and I wanted to go to the uh, uh, Bogey and Bacall. I wanted to go see uh, yeah. Casablanca. Yeah. The cafe. Right? The cafe. What was the name of the cafe? Do you know? Cafe. What was it? Rick's. Rick's Cafe. Was it Rick's or Christopher's? Rick's Cafe American. Yeah. <laughs> well, I went there. It's I took there. a five and a half hour train ride to get there. I get there, and I'm, I'm talking to a guy the whole ride. He speaks English, fluent English. From there, of course, but he went to college in Michigan, masters and everything in Michigan. So he's very well, very knowledgeable about the United States. He doesn't tell me in five and a half hours that, oh, see your camera there, you got there. Was, I had the camera right on the table. Ah. He doesn't. It's like we, it was like our uh, where we were, where we were sitting in first class. They call it first class. It was like being in a diner. You know, you had a table uh. in the middle and you had booths on each side. Whole time, five and a half hour ride, we're talking about everything under the sun. He doesn't tell me that, oh, by the way, don't put that camera on when you get off the train. No. Oh, it's just because it's Ramadan. He didn't tell me that. Oh. So I get off the train, and I start videotaping right away. These people, oh, women in the God. burkas and everything. All of a sudden, somebody sucker shots me. Oh. Nail me, too. I mean, he caught me with a good one. I go like this. I grab the camera over here for protection. This way, when I did, I get whacked in the back of the head by another guy. Oh, and then they hit me. There were so many people trying to hit me. They were hitting each other. They always How did you get out of there? Did you give them a snake bomb? Well, I took care of them. No, actually, I didn't. I didn't. What I ended up doing was he, he grabbed me. All of a sudden, I feel an arm. Grabs me, runs me out. We must have ran a block and a half. Wow. And I'm all bloodied up, did banged up. Did you have the camera? Did you have the camera still? Oh, the camera got banged up, too. Wow. So it was a big camera, oh, like the size of that one. Well, not quite that big. And anyway, it, he, he gets me, he said, oh, you, you shouldn't have videotaped. I said, why the heck didn't you tell me that ahead of time? Uh, we want to get All off right. this. What are you doing? Uh, so I'm going to do a burger. Um, now, what, what do you get so much meat here for? What kind of meat? You got three <laughs> different kinds of meat here. Now, you, you guys specialize in burgers over there? Yeah, one one of the things, right? We try to do a premium high-end burger right? that's still cost-effective and affordable. So we went, we got uh, all our meats come from, uh, believe it or not, Pennsylvania, Amish. Really? Uh, Amish? Cert yep. Amish Certified Black oh, Angus, yeah, uh, no <laughs> hormones, no uh, antibiotics. They're all free-range grass-fed. Wow. 100% uh, organic. Yeah, so it's, uh, wow. they call it all natural. Uh, it's called an 1855 program, um, and the reason why we went with them is just they just have great genetics, husbandry. I don't know why they call it. They don't call it wifery. <laughs> they, really, they do all the work. You know what I mean? Nine Cattle months. Husbandry. So uh, they they really put a lot of thought and effort right. into the meat. So it's the best quality you can get. And so you're also, mixing three different. So cuts? we have. I did three, but usually like uh, to make a great burger, you need a few things. You need. Uh, Definitely chuck. Like if you're going to do right. some burgers at right. home, you ground might chuck. Well, you got to be ground chuck. Because eventually. what happens? You have a good percentage of uh, you get ratio some marble fat and the fat, yeah, right. right? We also put a little brisket in it. Okay. Brisket just gives a really good beefy yes, flavor. Yes. Yes. And, and it's nice and tender. Top, brisket top, top round. Top, top round. Top just round. gives a depth, which there is you go. what they make roast beef. Roast beef. With. Exactly. Yeah, perfectly. I make a whole roast beef. Make that pepper the heck out of it all over there. Put onions all over it. Potato skins and everything else on it. And then just fire it up. High and flame. And usually, and then I'm going to just grind it up. Let's and, uh, see. Let's get going. We're going to have to do some running. What's that? Keep a bowl ice because it keeps the fat from melting and it gives the, the, the burger uh, flavor. It's almost like the puff pastry effect where you have to layer it up. And oh also, like, when, uh, so by keeping that bold edge, you're going to keep it nice and right, cold right. and just be well distributed. All right. Let's get some of this. All right. Let's, let's get it fired up. Fire it up. And again, we use the bigger die because you don't want to start grinding the meat way too. Yeah, so, you don't uh, know because it'll take everything out of it. Squeeze not only it out. that, it'll taste more like a pate. It won't have that texture. So texture is really, really That's important when it comes to uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. the burgers. Yep. Um, again, you can use equal parts, but part of the fun of cooking is uh, finding out what you like and how you like it, and come up with your own blend. Right. Uh, and look at how nice that uh, that mix is, huh? Yep. One of the things that we use is uh, beef short rib as well. Boneless beef short rib, because right. that's also really, really great. Uh, and also oh, sirloin tips. Huh? Uh, sirloin tips are also great. Right? 
Well, you know what I find? I People fat. make the mistake sometimes. They think right. they, they want to take all the fat off the yeah, burger. Yeah, that's one of the that's myths. You don't want to. Like that's I a mistake. First of all, if you try to cook that, mm. especially if it's in a pan or something, right. it's going to stick to the Again, pan. It's not going to work. It's, nothing's going to happen yeah. good. I mean, it's, it's, it's I like it for meatballs. You want to make meatballs, you can do it for meatballs. Right. Because you got to add And also some places stuff. will add uh, pork to it. But well, again, once you add pork, it's not staying like, like a meatloaf. It's well, no well, longer. Well, not only that, there are people that can't eat it. Right. Right? There are certain people who can't eat pork. Now, well, now, what are you doing? What are you doing? So a special treat for you, uh, Bob. Now, he knows. about your sweet tooth. He knows about, you know, I, I make chocolate-covered strawberries all the time, and I give them away. I've people, had your chocolate-covered oh strawberries. Yes. I, and I, with my own little hands, I make them. Mm -hmm. And I give them away to nice people. People go, why do you do that? So I go, well, I don't drink, and I don't smoke. So that's my way of showing appreciation for people that I meet. I don't care if it's at City Hall when I'm paying my taxes. Right. I don't care if it's at the registry of motor vehicles. A little morsel of love. It is. That's you know, it's, it, it, it is such a hit with people. Right. They go, why, why are you doing that? I said, because I can and because it, I see the smiles a, on their faces. They go, yeah, oh, wow, really that's nice so gesture. nice. Whoa. Oh. I, that really hit the spot. Yeah, they're really good, the ones that you make. Yes. Yeah, I, I go to the, 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 the state house. I go, especially places where normally people are not that happy a lot of times. <laughs> and it, it really changes them. Look at how neat this is. Look how cool wow. this is. Wow, amazing. Look how cool that is. We're to fire one. up that yep. pan here. We'll get it going. Oh, you got to click it, right? Oh, hold on. No, I screwed it. Oh, I messed it up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be off. Off. There you go. Yeah. Oh. That's the opposite of mine. Wow. That's a nice, that's a nice little unit. Look at how nice those, huh? Look at how that's nice those good. burgers are. What are those, a quarter pound burgers? Look at that. Look yeah, at that's about wow. a six ouncer. Wow. A little right, better than a quarter pound. let this pan get a little hot. Pound. So Bob, after you have Go a ahead. after you have a burger, now what, wait a minute. The name of, the name of your place oh, yeah. is oh, yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Fatelli's, Fatelli's G and B. B Fatelli's B G and B meaning burgers. Gelato, Gelato oh. and bar. And, bar. Ah. and a full bar. Oh. And it's in downtown yeah, Providence. 71 Washington, Washington Street. Street. Right at the beginning, right near. Biltmore Garage. Right next to the Biltmore Garage. It's part right? of the it's Biltmore Garage. Oh, it is? That's it's right. Okay, we're the kind of the beauty first... queens who eat, so we'll be there. Oh, yeah. You know, it. again, speaking like a Rhode Islander, <laughs> speaking like a Rhode Islander, before your time, when I worked in downtown Providence, that was oh, Winkler Steakhouse. Yeah. Oh, God. I've heard. I've heard the rumors. Buns and butter. Oh. Huh? He's toasting them in butter. Is that bad? Oh, it's good. Heaven. I love butter. There's That's no, there is no bun. substitute for real butter. That no. is heaven. Right. At the end of the day, it's like you oh know, eat in moderation, God. eat a little bit of everything, right, right. and okay. enjoy life. Uh, stick to those stick to just one. Butter. <laughs> my my high school principal that I talked about earlier was the greatest guy, nicest guy in the world, Mr. Mariotti. He used to say when we we're going on a, a you know the spring school breaks or whatever, he said he always said whatever you do. Do it in moderation, yep. and that's mm -hmm. the truth. I don't care what you do. If you're a drinker, you, you don't have to drink. You don't have to, to eat a toasted. burger every day, but you don't have to eat a burger every day. You want to eat a burger? Go out and have the best possible. That's burger. right. That's you don't have jello. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I can. Oh, I can have jello. Now, how how is this? What what do you got there? So let, so let's. I can't bring the machine to the, to the studio. We, right. We have the, the machines. We have straight amazing from, straight from Italy, Carpaggiani. Uh -huh. So what I'm gonna well, do. See, what this do you make, like 10 or 12 different kinds? 12 flavors every 12 day. 12 flavors from scratch. every day they make. So the special treat for you, I'm going to freeze it in front of you. With How can you nitrogen. do that? Oh, is that what that is? Liquid nitrogen, so it can well, freeze in about two minutes. Liquid nitrogen. I know. You don't put your finger in that, I'll tell you. No, you don't. Know. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. Holy oh, cow! Oh Hello! Oh, the mad scientist! <laughs> the mad scientist! How do you like that? You thought That's you were going to awesome. have this one this type of smoke first. tonight, didn't you? This is the first, That's amazing! Carlo, this yeah. is the first here in yeah. 22 years. I've never yeah. had that, and I've never had very... Oh, you oh. smell those very... I love the I butter. Love it. Oh, my God. Huh? Love it. That. Oh, yeah, the toasted bun. You, you can't, it doesn't get better than oh, that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nothing like a good toasted bun. So today bun. I'm just going to make stracciatella uh, gelato. It's basically oh. like a chocolate chip uh, ice cream, but uh, Italian style. Chocolate chip. You're, you're, you're really old great. here. We got beautiful woman. <laughs> we got great burgers and gelato. The real uh, ice authentic, cream. Authentic, authentic gelato. Authentic. Now, what's the difference between gelato and ice cream? That's a great question. I get that quite a bit. <laughs> so ice cream oh, really? is typically. Mm -hmm. 
five parts cream to one part milk. No, so there's a right. lot more fat in ice cream. Have, um, but, um, whereas gelato is the, uh, the the reverse of that. Gelato is, is five parts milk to one part cream. So there's not as much fat. Not, in not it. as much fat in it. The other big difference, and this makes uh, oh, a big difference with the taste is the amount of uh, air that is added to ice cream. Ice cream typically That's right. has 20 to even 60% air added to it, whereas uh, gelato, 5 me. to 8%. Believe me, I know that for the fact. The textural does. I know yeah. that for fact. The texture component is completely Come on, different. ladies. Get over here. Get over here. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Come on, where are you? Get over here. This is cool. I like there's a liquid nitrogen bar. Is that unbelievable? Oh, oh my God. I love this. And also one of the uh, things to do is not to really handle the burgers too much. Right. And I actually say that women are better at it because they their hands tend to be cooler. Yep. So as you shape them, you don't melt the uh, fat in it, so it comes out more tender oh and juicy. Uh, so cold, what do they say? Cold hands, warm heart. <laughs> Absolutely, I agree a hundred percent. Oh my God, this smells so good. Isn't it I, great? We're here for taste testing. Oh, you're going to get it. Look at this. this is, is this amazing. unbelievable? I cannot Look at believe that. That's amazing. Yeah, you can also use dry ice, but uh, that's even colder than that. It yeah. rarely becomes Now, what temperature is that at, that stuff? It's uh, negative 170, I believe. Oh. I have to look yeah, that I mean, that'll up. literally that's burn unreal. you. Again. I mean, it will. It's almost as yeah. if touching fire. Do not do this fire. at home. No, no, you don't want to touch that. Because if you put your hand in there, it would oh, actually. It, oh, it would yeah. burn you. It would burn you. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, you know, some of the uh, skin, like people that have skin cancer, sometimes they like to use liquid nitrogen to burn that piece. Right, right. right. I've, right. Had, I've had little it really spots that burnt off. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. I went to a um, dermatologist That's once. Amazing. I had a little uh, a little thing on my finger, and they, yeah. they knocked, took it right, it right off. Took it right off with the liquid nitrogen. It hurt, though, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. It hurt. Hey, you're right. Bob, I mean, you need me to do the, that? Uh, I can do that for you. No charge. Do it right now. <laughs> if I stick my finger right in there, how about running it down my arm? How about having it all down my arm? And the beauty about that is that it evap evaporates completely, so it goes literally from a liquid to uh, vapor a completely, That's so it doesn't leave any residue or anything Put behind that on the uh, Give me that shot again, gelato. Gelato. <laughs> Oh, he ain't got that shot uh, up there now. He had a beautiful shot up there. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? There we go. All right. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, smell those burgers. Now that's a nicer burger. All right. And another thing is like what they call in the industry, we call it a pancake. Yeah. Uh, it's yep. usually when people, when they put something down on the pan and they just literally just put it down and don't touch it. You should only flip it once. Let Sounds it get nice and caramelized on one side. Right. Before you flip well, it. Well, not. There's a uh, whole lot of whole flipping thing. it, then you're ruining the whole texture and it doesn't sear as well. So it's not nice and crispy. And uh, I, I, I literally like my burgers really plain because when you have really good meat, you don't need you don't want You don't want to disguise yeah. it. You, you don't want to ruin it. So oh, I'm going to make two really plain ones and just a little bit of caramelized yep. onion. We'll try that That's and it. then see how great Well, let's that go. Is. Come on. We're going to have to. So people come to Fratelli's, what are the, the two must-haves that they have well, to have? Well, have to have a burger and yep. a gelato. Gotcha. That, have to. Absolutely. Have to. You can right. have a drink if you want, but you're the you most important the thing is a, a burger and the gelato. Look at look at this. He, like, oh, look at that. It fits perfectly. Oh, look at look at it that. It really does. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. And then, and then of course, then what, what other kind of burgers do you have over there? Do you make any? We well, have uh, we have want, a right? no no, which is our uh, same burger patty, and then we put caramelized onions, mushrooms, a little bit of uh, provolone cheese, and we put a fried egg on top. Oh, that's like a, onions are the best thing. Ever. And that's oh, like yeah. a huge so huge. That. Uh, wow, that oh, is amazing. Yeah, that. And we also came up with a uh, Providence mm -hmm. burger as well, which we okay. serve it on uh, basically a uh, patty with uh, fresh mozzarella. Yeah. Oh. Sautéed onions and peppers, oh, and then yeah. we put oh, it on. Come on, two throw another one. On. Let's go. We're, we put it on two slices of uh, party I'll pizza. I'll cut that. You start another one. I was going to cut it for you. You hungry today, Bob? Yeah. Well, the girls are. The girls are. Oh, yeah, we're the, delicious. We're the taste testers. Yeah, we are. We're those beauty I love it. It's amazing you girls can eat in the oh, shape you you're in. We, train, we work out a lot. We well, do. that you make we up. Oh, look at that burger. You to take that a bite. Oh, oh, try that. Yeah. Do you like your meat yeah. like that, rare Absolutely. like that, medium rare? Yeah, that's the best way. Oh, get get the napkin here. Yeah. All right, we got to. We, oh, hey, yeah. we're gonna have to close up pretty soon. So you got to show me this gelato. Oh, it's getting there. We're running out of time. So again, we're on Washington Street in Providence. 71 Washington 71 Street. 71, right the first next. First floor of the Biltmore Garage. Biltmore Garage, right next to the Biltmore Garage. Wow. That. You want the awesome burger. Awesome huh? It's unbelievable. Yeah, when you have really good quality, like I said, you don't need oh my gosh. ketchup. But like no. the way I usually eat it, just a little bit of caramelized oh, yeah, onion. Yeah. But then again, no, this is yeah. America. Have it your way, whatever yep. makes you happy. Yep. If you like bacon, 
uh, blue oh cheese God. by all means. Uh, but yeah. like I said, when you have really good quality. The quality of this meat is amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the oh my God. we get out of Cambridge pack. And I right, look at this. We're there. We're there. We're there. We got one more blast, and you guys are going to be ready to have some gelato. Oh, my gosh. Wow. One more blast. Look, look at Ryan, look at that. I'm going to add some chocolate chip to that. Wow. That's incredible. That well, folks, oh my gosh. I guess I'm going to thank you for spending an hour with Bob and stuff.